So welcome back to the channel. I'm Sunny and this is Someone Else's Cloud. If you're new here, I create videos to share my knowledge and my experience on all things cloud. I primarily focus on Azure because that's what I do day to day, but I like to explore new methodologies and technologies and see where I can apply them day to day. So if you want to learn cloud and improve your ninja skills, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and let's get started. So I've got a few videos in the backlog, but I've kind of been dragging my feet. My motivation has been up and down, maybe because of lockdown, I don't know. Now, I thought I should probably push myself a bit harder and be a bit more consistent with the content. So I thought, what a better way to do that than to stack the chips. So what I'm going to do is start a new video series called Cheat Code Tuesdays, which I'll be releasing every Tuesday. There'll be short form segments and cheat codes that I learn along the way. So let's get started, and this is going to be episode number one. So for this cheat code, I'm going to show you how to use variable groups in your Azure pipelines. Now, before we get started, if you're not familiar with using the TFVars file and Terraform, you should check out this episode. And if you're not familiar with using Azure pipelines, you should check out this video. So let's just get started with the basic concept of a variable. So a variable is just a reference to a name and a value. So an example would be name would be environment and then the value would be say dev and obviously a variable group is just a collection of variables so let's get straight into the demo so if you look here in azure devops and you go to pipelines you've got a library option so if you click on library there's variable groups and then you can create a new variable group so let's give it a name we'll just call it uh you know cheat cheat code dev or let's go with test just a different name and then what I like to do is prefix my variables with VG, just so I don't confuse them with a standard variable um, that you can put directly into a pipeline. So I was just going through and editing the video. Sorry, it might sound a bit different because I'm still playing around with this microphone. I forgot to mention that you can actually add variables into the pipeline itself by adding a name and a value. So if you look at the pipeline, rather than having this group, I could have added something like this. Now, obviously there's different benefits to different things. Um, having a variable group allows you to do it through the portal, but it allows you to mark secrets as well. So obviously you don't want passwords in plain text here. Um, so you can use it in two different ways. I thought I'd just highlight that. Now back to the video. So if we go VG, um, what we're going to do by the way is if you look at the code, um, we're gonna try and replace this TFVars file. So you can see here there's an asset name. So we're gonna replace the asset name um, with VG dash asset name, and we'll just call it um, Rex. And you can see, and then we have environment and location. So if we go back, let's create this. So VG dash locate uh, environment. So we're just gonna go with test. Um, so I just uh, wanna avoid any collisions from all the building I've done. And then uh, VG dash location, and we'll just go West US. Okay, so we'll, we'll just save this. And this is basically a, a new variable group called cheat code test. So now if we go to the pipelines, so I've copied this pipeline from episode 12, but I've kind of um, slimmed it down a bit um, because I removed the multi stages just purely for the demo. So it's one single stage and it's just a whole bunch of tasks. If you look at the code here, so what you need to do, uh, it looks like I've already done this. So, so what you need to do is above the stage, if you want it to cascade through all the stages, you basically declare a variables option at the top and then um, you just go dash group and you reference the group name. So we called it cheat code test. Now, what we're going to try and do is replace the resource group in the storage account and any other values that we want to replace so that will remove all the static values from our code um, and then it allows us to input all the variables and we just apply multiple groups or variable groups to different pipelines for different environments so what we're going to do is we need this to align with the terraform code so you can see here, I've got a locals in my Terraform code, which is what is used to formulate the names of certain resources. So we're just going to copy it. So you can see here, the RG name will be this. So if we just go back to our pipeline. So now how you call, how you reference a variable group is uh, not, not a variable group, a variable in a variable group. You basically just go dollar and then it's brackets. But what we're going to do is we're going to simulate this name. You can see here, so what I want to call this is VG asset name 
for the first one. So we're going to try and create the same RG name, so then the code aligns. And then uh, obviously the location, so we've got a variable group for that, so I'm just going to copy it. So we can just do this now. Uh, now the storage account, because um, normally if you're deploying this, backend storage would generally be created beforehand, which is why the Terraform code needs to align with it. Um, but because we're using this extension to create it all, we just, we're just we just going to follow this. Storage account, we're going to use the asset name and then storage and that number. So if you look here, you can see I've got asset name and then that storage number. We're going to pipe through variables straight into the command line so or, or as command options. And this will consume the variables. So if we go here, so we're going to pass through... Uh, the asset variable, which will be VG asset name, and then environment variable, which is going to be VG environment, and then the location one, which would be VG location. So now if we just go down to the other ones, so we need to add the command line options to everything else as well. So if you look here, so I'm just going to run a plan and not an apply because I don't want to be waiting for the apply, but the plan should tell us that it's going to deploy something. Uh, so if you look at the job parameters, you can see the variables here. Um, that's going to use the variable group and you can see that it's running against the back end again and it's going to pass through those variables uh, which will be consumed and there we go so if you look at the plan you can see here it's going to deploy everything so key vault um, you know the secrets um, it should show hopefully the name so you can see here it's passed through those values so that was the asset name and that was the um, environment yeah, you can see it's got the resource group as well. And that, and that's basically it. So you can see how useful it is to use variable groups. Um, it's kind of endless, right? You can basically create variable groups for multiple environments um, that will reduce static code. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. So Cheat Code Tuesdays, and I'm signing out. See ya!